this is the beans and um, you can see they're pretty healthy and long. These are scarlet runner beans. They're beautiful. I'm a person who likes to do things by hand. Some of my beans have names like purple speckled beans. So there is a personal satisfaction in growing my own food, canning my food. Oh my goodness. When you don't harvest the zucchini for a few days, things tend to get a little overgrown. Like this. <laughs> um, people joke about my garden because everything is extra huge here. The thing about gardening is it's constant transformation. I mean, every day it's a little bit different. And this yard, when I got here, there was nothing in it. It was basically, there was an apple tree and grass and nothing else. So it's really transformed and it keeps transforming. It, it grows up and it's also about the cycle. Like in the winter, there's, it's very empty. This whole area that you've seen here has nothing in it. And then in the spring, it starts to grow up again and it grows really big and it overgrows and then it falls and it dies again. So it's a constant process of transformation daily, weekly, monthly, yearly. And I expect, because I've planted trees, five years from now it's going to look completely different. So I'm one of those sort of omni-gardeners. I love many, many kinds of plants and uh, especially unusual plants. So this is a variety of nigella, or love in a mist. I just love it because it has these striking white flowers and uh, purple stamens, and then it has this crazy space alien seed pod which dries up really nice. This is made all of stained glass. It's fun to put a different side up to change my perspective. Oh, that's beautiful. And it's so much about beauty, you know, this really simple natural beauty that, that's there for the taking if you just slow down and observe it. Look at this bee. She's just going right inside there. I've been a beekeeper for about six years, and I love the bees. And I'm also allergic. The doctor told me I should stop being a beekeeper, but I love it so much. Bees are magical. They're so deeply entrenched in the cycle of life, the cycle of pollination and seed making and growing. They're very, very special creatures. <laughs> they like me. <laughs> and so it just is a, a constant daily reminder that, you know, this life is bigger than me, and I just get to observe it and participate it and find the beauty in it.